Good morning, I'm Jasmine Anderson. George Santos is expected to appear in Central Islip Court today. Court papers show the feds are working with the ousted congressman on a plea deal. Prosecutors also say they would prefer to hold the trial in the spring instead of the scheduled September date. Santos was expelled from Congress after an ethics committee report accused him of defrauding campaign donors for his own profit. Police are looking for the public's help after a deadly hit and run last night. It happened on Horse Block Road in Farmingville. Cops say a man was hit by an unknown car while crossing the street. Another car hit him while he was lying in the road and then spun out and crashed into a parked car. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stopper. That number on your screen, 1-800-220-TIPS. Only in Newsday, there's a new surgical wing coming to the North Shore University Hospital. Macy Eglund got an exclusive look at the future of health care on Long Island. I think it'll really allow us to take our care of these patients to the next level. Newsday granted exclusive early access to tour North Shore University Hospital's brand new addition, the Petroselli Surgical Pavilion in Manhasset. The $560 million project made possible in part by donors like the Petrocellis. Construction began on this 288,000 square foot, seven story addition in April of 2020. The new space will be home to additional operating rooms, 18 total, including three hybrid rooms, which offer advanced technology in one space for high risk procedures. What we learned during the pandemic is that the communities around here need sort of top tier facilities to be able to deal with things that perhaps we don't even expect. There will also be more intensive care rooms, 132, with the addition of patient lifts. A North Shore University Hospital is the only facility on Long Island where you can get a heart, lung, or liver transplant. They say this space will allow them to do multiple operations at once and utilize state-of-the-art pump technology on donor organs. We have now advanced to a level where we're putting organs on pumps and keeping those organs essentially alive with, you know, blood flowing through them while they're outside the body. They say with sicker patients coming in and more of them every year, this additional space will be a game changer. When people come, they're going to they're going to feel a difference in the energy. They're going to see the beautiful surroundings and the and the new technologies, and they're going to know that this is the place that they need to be. The pavilion will officially open to patient care in February and training begins for staff in the coming weeks. Reporting for Newsday TV, I'm Macy Eglund. It's going to help so many patients. Thank you, Macy. To learn more about the new surgical pavilion, head over to Newsday.com. Farmingdale students are saying thank you to the health care workers. The superintendent went to Westchester County Hospital to hand deliver thank you cards, drawings, and letters made by elementary school students. The students were thanking hospital staff for treating the victims of the bus crash that happened back in September. Two educators were killed in the crash and dozens of students were injured. A win for the Islanders last night, despite a goal from the team's former captain. John Tavares, now of the Maple Leafs, reached 1,000 career points at the game, but the Isles' Bo Horvat made the winning goal. 46 seconds into overtime, bumping the team up into second place in the Metropolitan Division. Well done. Checking out your hyper-local forecast. Sunny today, highs around 42 degrees, but tonight a bit chilly. We drop down into the 30s. Tomorrow we slightly warm up, mostly sunny with highs around 44 degrees there. A look at your seven-day forecast coming up. Long Island weather is brought to you by Home Tax Saver, PTRC Incorporated. Tis the season for giving a little extra, and one Suffolk County high school is doing just that. Sherry Einhorn shows us how some students are helping their community one meal at a time. So who's going to Stop and Shop with me today? I am. All right, you guys excited? Yeah. It's food shopping day here at Walt Whitman High School. We're going to be getting a lot of fruit today. Students in the life skills class are stocking the school's community food pantry. The students do all the planning. Vianney, you're going to open up the, these two bags. And the shopping. On today's list, pasta in aisle four. I love to like scan everything, like the fruits, 
the boxes of pasta, and I like to scan it with the scanner gun. Teacher Corinne McLaughlin says the trip teaches important life lessons. This is a wonderful opportunity for my students to learn budgeting, following a shopping list, um, going on the school bus, doing the shopping in the supermarket, using gift cards that Stop and Shop has granted to our pantry. The supermarket chain has donated two separate $10,000 grants to the food pantry. 49% of students here in the South Huntington District live below the poverty level. This food pantry is open to every single family, no questions asked. Okay. Typically, there are anywhere from 25 to 40 families using the pantry when it's open every other week. And then keep going, get all the pastas in there, good girl. The program gives these students a chance to learn important skills for their future while also giving them an opportunity to help others. We help the other people to give them food. It makes me happy to give other people food. In Huntington Station, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV. The power of giving. To read more about this story, click Get More under the Newsday TV video box. Newsday Sports is brought to you by PC Richard & Son. A former NBA player returning to his roots here on the island. Krista Kelman has a story you'll see only in Newsday. He was really one of the best players ever to step foot on a basketball court in Long Island history. Former NBA player A.J. Price has returned to the place where his basketball journey began. You're back in this gym where you started in high school. Mm -hmm. What's different about this gym? How does it look different? Uh, this is much nicer than what <laughs> we had, you know, so it's a great feel though, but still has that same type of Amityville basketball vibe to it. This season, the former Amityville High standout is sharing his knowledge of the game as a volunteer coach for the boys basketball program. Being able to relate to me in terms of uh, coming from the same background, same places, walked these same halls, played in the same gym, and uh, I made it to the highest level. Really gives them the confidence and belief that they can do anything. He can really show and demonstrate everything, and that's really a quality that most high school coaches aren't able to really do. I like his coaching. He always pushes us. He's definitely a good fit. And while Price says his coaching style involves toughness and discipline, he believes what he can teach the players off the court is what's most important. I'm always in the air about, you know, things that don't even pertain to basketball, you know, uh, because we're trying to prepare these young men for life. I'm able to tell kids what to do in certain situations in terms of going right or going left. And He's a great teacher and a great communicator. His influence over them, I can see them maturing much faster. He's like a mentor to us right now, especially us guards. He showed us a lot of things like, like how to be disciplined and like how to stay motivated on the team. Though Price has never considered a career in coaching, his time at Amityville has him thinking otherwise. Just being around them, Every single day just brings joy, you know, makes it very gratifying to be out here and coach these guys. Being here too, taking his time, that means a lot. In Amityville, Carissa Kelman, Newsday TV. Great story. Read more about AJ Price on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Information about communities is lost if you don't have local reporters. And if there's no one reporting, how do you know what's going on in your community? Newsday, covering Long Island like no one else can. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave you with a look at your hyperlocal seven-day forecast.